Om Om Namaste. Welcome back to another yoga pose tutorial. Today I'm going to show you what is downward dog and how do we practice in downward dog. Like many people, I did not like downward dog at the beginning. I feel my wrist got injured and I don't get all those benefits that teacher was telling me about. So today I'm going to show you of practicing downward dog and get most benefit from it. So here is how. Come to your yoga mat standing pose. On the back of your mat, keep your feet hip width apart. So about hip width apart. And then when you go forward, you just walk your hand forward and to a point you feel you can be comfortably in the downward dog position. So in the downward dog, the shape looks like this. It's also called a mountain pose. In the downward dog, you spread your fingers wide. Your entire palms are on the mat. And your heels might not reach the floor. You can bend your knees if you have very tight hamstring. And this will actually help you to lengthen the spine, tilt your sit bones up, and relax your head and neck. At the same time, push into your palms to lengthen. Instead of collapsing into it, you push your palms and lengthen your spine and tilt your sit bones up to the sky. And at the same time, you suck your belly button toward the spine to get your core. So keep your knees bent as much as you need. Now you can slowly straighten your knees if it's possible for you. Keep your tailbone, sitting bones, tilting toward the sky. So this is the downward dog. And really spread your scapulas away from each other. So wrap your shoulders and slightly bend your elbows toward the floor. And then slowly you can walk your feet toward the hands, come to forward fold. Still bend your knees, dangling your body, your torso. Relax your shoulders. And if you want to get back to downward dog, push your palms firmly onto the floor. Slowly walk your feet back on your tippy toes as far as you feel comfortable. Keep your tippy toes first and then slowly lengthen your spine, push your palms, tilt your tailbones toward the sky and finally straighten your knees, reach your heels toward the floor. But that's not necessarily a requirement. It just feel the lengthening of your spine and feeling the hamstring, maybe your calf muscles. If it's your first moment, you can pedal your feet, bend one knee at a time, feeling the other side of the leg, the calf muscles, the hamstring, and then alternate. And keep your belly button toward the spine and breathe with it. Exhale when you push. Inhale when you change position. Exhale, push. Now bend your both knees, walk your feet toward your hands, and come to forward fold. And slowly round your spine up, and come up fast. Relax your shoulders. So that is a small tutorial on how to practice downward dog. You can hold in the downward dog the same position for three breaths, or you can alternate between the forward fold and gently walk your feet back toward the downward dog, or walk your hands forward from foot fold forward position. So this is a small sequence between fold forward and downward dog. And we can also use downward dog for other part of the sequence. I'll show you in the next video. 
Your generous support is very meaningful to us. So please check out our YouTube channel and check out other tutorials and classes that you can access for free. So please explore and enjoy. Thank you.